hey guys, what's happening? So, just got back and picked up another 1660 Super on offer up. I uh, got this one for 150 bucks. So that's actually an incredible deal, but the guy said that this thing would crash when it was idle. But he could play games with it and do stuff with it, but as soon as he actually let it idle for five minutes, it would crash. So that's kind of odd. So I didn't know if it was actually his computer. Um, like he didn't have the problem when he put a 3060 in there, so... Um, I mean, it could be like a low-power MOSFET. I'm, I'm not really sure, but... Um, so I'm going to put on my test rig. I'm going to run uh, nice hash OS. All my Hive OS licenses are used up, so um, this will be my fourth 1660 Super if I can get it to work. So I'm going to put it in there. This is a really old computer. This is an old uh, Core 2 quad. And uh, what's that, like 4 gig of RAM in it, so booting off, booting off a USB here. But uh, yeah, if I can get this to work for 150 bucks, I mean, that's going to be an incredible deal. So if you're not familiar, the 1660 Super has a GDR6 memory and it can do about 30 mega hash, 30 to 31 mega hash. This is actually a pretty nice one, MSI. I mean, it has a nice solid heat sink in it, really large heat sink, and that's actually what I like. Dual fan, it's gonna have better cooling. Yeah, you want the large heat sinks and, the, and big fans for summer cooling. Right now it's winter time, so it's not that bad. But, all right, I'm gonna put in my test rig here. I'm gonna have a little, um, little adapter piece here, like a little SATA adapter. So this is actually my 3D printed, uh, you know, underneath uh, power supply uh, crypto mining test, test rig here. So if you want the, uh, all this stuff, with my, all my 3D printed mining rig stuff, it's on my Thingiverse page on the channel description. Alright, let's get this going. Alright, so I'm running this at full power. If I can get it to boot up in nice hash OS. Um, like I said, normally I'd use Hive OS, but all my licenses are used up. Um, let's see if I can get this to fire up here. Power button, there we go, got it. Um, there it goes. So, yeah, one of the worst things you can do is put an unstable GPU in a stable mining rig and have it constantly crashing. So, anytime I buy one of these used GPUs, I thoroughly test it, let it run. Um, heard something. Fans are spinning, but no video. Um, all right. Yeah, I do actually have a VGA for the onboard. Well, I have two different test monitors up here. I have one VGA and one H or display port. So, mm, this is a really old motherboard, so I might have to swap out this motherboard with the new one, possibly. So it's still not boot. I mean, I can hear the computer kind of booting. I mean, you can hear like the BIOS, but. Um, it doesn't mean it's not going to work. I mean, I'm still going to go into Hive OS and see if I can see it. Because sometimes uh, if the video is actually having issues, um, like I'm not going to be using video out on this thing. So, um, hmm. Yeah, this is definitely not a UEFI BIOS. This is an old master boot record in BIOS. Old school BIOS. Um, yeah, it seems like it keeps on keeps rebooting here. It's crazy I got it to boot. Got some video on the screen. Nice ash. Uh, seemed to boot when I put it on this one here, the second one up from the bottom, but I was also wiggling the uh, PCI bus, PCIe bus. Alright, we'll see if this thing actually I can get it to mine. So, yeah, this is a really old motherboard, so I might swap out to a different motherboard. Can't get this to uh, be stable. Just because the BIOS doesn't, it's a newer card. Like, I don't have a problem with like, older GPUs, but like the RX 580s and 470s and um, 570s, but some of the old, some of the newer NVIDIA stuff is can be a little picky with these motherboards. Okay, so showed up right there in the nice hash OS. Now, well, the good thing about Linux is, and I'm not lo loading actually Windows. It's I'm not loading the, a graphical interface, which could put extra strain on this thing. So, the fact that I'm just still at a command line, I'm hoping this will be easier to troubleshoot. Like I said, don't even know if this thing works or not. It's possibly a known bad card, so. One thing I definitely thought was interesting too is that the actual memory, the GDR6 memory I see is actually against this heat plate here, not directly against the heat sink. So it's a, well, it's a, like an aluminum plate that connects the GDR6 with some thermal pads, but it's not, typically all the other ones I've seen have been 
the heat sink is right on top of the memory with um, you know like a like a thermal pad. Alright. Got something here. Fans came on. So I'm guessing it's probably gonna be um, doing a what's it called? The uh, stress test. Not the stress test, but the uh, where it checks the speed settings. Yeah, because if I can actually get this to mine in nice ash with no undervolting, we're talking like max power. Let that go for an hour, then I'll be pretty confident with this car that it's not going to crash. Um, then once I get into like high OS, I'll start undervolting and messing with the clock settings. The term I was thinking about was benchmarking. So I went through the benchmark process, and so right now it's at full power, no undervolting. And it's pulled probably about 100. I know these cars pull about 125 watts when you don't have any undervolting. So I currently have my other ones going. Um, let me show you real fast. All right, so my other 1660 Supers, which are right here, uh, are doing about 31 mega hash. And I'm undervol undervolting them. Each of them run different, they're a little different. So um, they pull anywhere from 50 watts. The best performer is the Tough Gaming, which pulls about 50 watts, 50 to 55 watts. And the worst one is the Gigabyte 3 card, 3 van card. And I think it's pulling about, um, probably about 70 watts. So, the reason why I have this thing set at full power, I want to let that go for an hour, is I want to see if it overheats and crashes. Um, because if it can actually handle full power, you know, zero undervolting at maximum heat, then I think we're, we're going to be good. So, I'm be stoked, man, 150 bucks. I mean, all my other cars I was paying, my original card, um, I paid 250 bucks at Micro Center probably about a year and a half ago, two years ago. Um, and then they went up to like 650, 700 bucks uh, for new ones. Um, I was getting them on use offer up for like 350 to 400 bucks. So uh, if I can get one, uh, if this thing actually works at 150, that's going to be great. So it's got to look for, man. I mean, I figured the, the guy, I mean, I, I thought maybe. That this thing might need new thermal pads or be, need to be repasted, um, or it could just been a driver computer a problem on its computer. I don't know. Never know. Okay, so this thing's been going for about an hour. So I switched it to low power mode in nice hash, and it's doing about 26 mega hash. Regardless if I'm on high power, or low power, same same speed. Um, so let my this let it run overnight, and. If it's stable, it doesn't crash overnight, then I'm going to put it in my Hive OS rig. And the back plate feels pretty warm. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Also, that's a tamper proof thing on there still. That's a good sign. Yeah, I mean, I looked at the thermal pads, you know what I mean? They're hard to see in there. Um, but they're under, under this heat sink, but yeah, her thermal pads look fine. Um, I don't know, I wonder if this guy just had driver problems on his computer. Um, I mean, obviously I don't have it running in Windows, so I can't tell for sure, but, I mean, if it, if the GPU can run crypto, I mean, that's like a 100% GPU load. So, yeah, that's, I mean, if it can, if it can handle crypto mining, then I think the, the card is fine. It's been going for over an hour now, so, I don't know. I guess we'll see tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah, so if I, I have low energy in this video. <laughs> I work in IT and I had to work all night long last night building an office, you know, voicing data cabling, installing switches, routers, firewalls. Um, yeah, so if you're ever going to, you want a career in IT, expect to work long hours at night and weird hours. Uh, because you can't shut down a network during the day. And you can't do a lot of this stuff during the day. So, I mean, I work a lot on the weekends and after hours, so. Right, so I've had this thing run overnight here. And, um, uh, so far, so good. I mean, 26 mega hash. Uh, I mean, not overheating. Um, yeah, so I don't know what the deal with this. With this guy, what kind of issues this guy was having. So, like I said, it's a little bit different when you do it in Windows because Windows activates a whole different part of the GPU than Linux does. I mean, you have a whole graphical environment to deal with. So, um, the strings are different on the GPU. Um, you know, you have different video outputs. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're straining a different subsystem of the of the uh, GPU. All right. Um, okay, let me, uh, I guess I'll put it in the rack. I think we're good. Got pulled my rigs up and moved over. All right, so I'm going to be on the search for one more NVIDIA card. That could be 1660 Super, 3060, 3070, 
just something that I, I can get at a good good deal. Maybe even a broken card. Maybe I have to fix a broken card, but uh, yeah, definitely want to pay full price, uh, especially with Ethereum 2.0 coming this close. You don't really know. I mean, I mean, these guys have been pushing it back for years, but uh, yeah, I just figured I would get a little bit more diversity with the Nvidia cards. You know, with the different algorithms I can mine versus the AMD stuff. Um, yeah, because I really don't want to mine. Ravencoin is so power, extra power intensive. You know, it's like your profitability will be go way down. So, um, yeah, I could do like Flux, Ergo, different things with this, these NVIDIA cards. Um, all right, yeah, crazy, crazy deal, man. 150 bucks. So, yeah, it does about 30 mega hash. So, yeah, I mean, I do actually have RX 580s, and they're definitely more power efficient than the RX 580, and they get about the same mega hash. So, I haven't actually tried any of the RX 6600 yet. Um, I mean, I have the 5700 XTs, but um, if I could get these, I mean, this is the, my preferred card I'd get um, when it comes to, like, power consumption and uh, hash rate. Um, but, alright, have fun. Be on the lookout. Awesome.